Hello everybody, um, I'm Fish Perfume, and I'm going to talk about serial killers and being a good serial killer. Yeah, um, it's just, uh, yesterday I was watching Human Centipede 2, and I don't really want to spoil it, but basically the guy does not know how to cover his tracks. That drives me insane, because if I were a serial killer, I would be very detailed and precise about everything. So here are some tips on being a good serial killer. Please do not take this seriously because actually never mind. But yes, yes, I am not encouraging anything. Um one don't touch the body or the victim with your bare hands. Probably use latex gloves and then after you're using latex gloves, burn them. Burn them. Because your fingerprints can still be retrieved inside. I'm sorry I have random stuff on my fingers. Yeah. Um, two, if you sweat a lot, probably put baby powder on you so none of the sweat drips onto the body. And there's no possible DNA that can be taken from the body. Three, don't move the body. Where you kill it, leave it as it is. The more you move it, the more you're you're more likely to leave some DNA, fingerprints, and things like that. It's just too complicated. Mm. Four, possibly wear a hairnet, hairnet, and that would be probably be suspicious, or you could temporarily wear a bald cap or just shave off all your hair. But I suggest wearing a hairnet or, and then putting a hoodie on or a beanie on so it's not that suspicious after you kill somebody. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Okay, d make sure there's no DNA at all. Um, have a solid alibi, but don't have an alibi in a place with security cameras because you can say, oh I was in this place and they have security cameras, they can prove my whereabouts, but it's possible that that they can record when you're going out of that place. So I suggest a low-class hotel where you just sign in and they don't pay much attention. And then if you ever need an alibi, you can say, I went to the hotel, here's the receipt. Um, and they won't be able to catch you because you weren't on the video camera. Make sure there are no witnesses, by the way. Make sure it's an alleyway or something like that. Dark and probably around 3 a.m. in the morning when everyone's asleep. Mm. Do it. Don't, if you're going to be a serial killer, and not just a plain killer, don't choose people of the same gender, ethnicity, or any traits, because when that happens, they will connect those things and find out that they're dealing with one serial killer, not just random scattered murders, which is what you want them to believe. Um, just be utterly random. Make sure none of the places you kill are you kill them are in your safe zone or near your hometown or something like that that would be crazy and that would mean they could probably connect it to you no perhaps um also but if you're going to need equipment to kill them because you can't do it with your bare hands then make sure you buy that equipment away from your house and that you burn all the receipts and make sure you buy them on separate occasions so it doesn't look suspicious that you're buying duct tape, knives, and bondage on the on one trip. Yeah, that would be strange. And when you're killing your victim, don't be too... don't rage too much. Or you could because if you rage too much and stab stab stabity stab there may be blood on your clothes and we don't want that um what to do with blood on your clothes probably don't wash it in your own home um perhaps get a bucket of water and wash it somewhere else bourbon and then give it to give it to a random laundromat that has no connection to you it's not Make sure it's a place you don't usually go to, make sure it's not near your house, and make sure the blood, at least some blood is off. You can, if you're a girl and it's on your pants, you can say, oh, I had my period. If you're a guy, just say, 
um, oh, it's red paint or something like that. But yeah, just clean it or you could throw it away. I suggest throwing it away, burning it, and dumping it. Yes. Now, where do you dump the body? I, I believe you should just leave it there. It makes things simpler so there are no drag marks so they don't know where to kill the body. Or you could dump them in a landfill or into the ocean. Still, people, witnesses could be around, so that's not a good idea. And make sure you're wearing something non-suspicious, but something that you can be e easily concealed in, and that probably black, but not a lot, a lot of black, because that would attract some attention. Just probably wear jeans, shoes, and throw away all that, all those clothing, all those pieces of clothing, and burn them afterwards so make sure you don't wear anything expensive no jewelry because if you talk if you drop jewelry you're leaving evidence and dna thank you